guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay, if you guys are new here, that's who I am, and you guys are on my channel. If you're not, welcome back. All right, today we are continuing our Cricut Joy review, and we are talking about if smart vinyl is really smart, or if they're trying to pull your leg because you can use regular vinyl on the new Cricut Joy. I already know the answer, so I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, Cricut came out with the Cricut Joy and they launched a whole new product line of Smart Vinyl, which is a vinyl that comes in five and a half inches by 12 inches or four feet or 10 feet or 20 feet. But as of now, the 20 feet only comes in a couple colors and the 10 feet only comes in a couple colors and some of them are only available online and they only come in limited colors. So the investigator that I am, as soon as I heard that thought, can you really only cut the smart vinyl on the Cricut Joy? And I thought, probably not. So I'm gonna at first cut with the smart vinyl and I have it ready to go. If you're interested in a really fun uh, unboxing that me and my daughter did last night, we went a little crazy when we unboxed it and it was a little psycho, but it was fun. And so I wanted you guys to know that that's available as well if you want my first reactions on this thing, but it is crazy. So I decided I'm gonna put up some live, really professional, as professional as I can get in my Mickey sweatshirt reviews. So we are going to start by actually using their smart vinyl and they say that you can cut it without a mat because the backing is thicker. I already knew that you can actually cut without a mat on the Cricut Explore series and I'm going to do that in the next video so check that one out if you haven't already. Okay so we're going to use the smart vinyl and I've got my Mickey in the in the style of Auntie Tay. We're doing lots of Mickey stuff so I'm going to click Continue. I haven't linked it to the joy because I want to make sure that the Bluetooth is going to continue to go And then we're gonna see in the next video if it can unhook from that and go to my other Machine pretty easily. I never have an issue with the Bluetooth on my Explore Air 2 It's one of the reasons why I don't ever do lives with my maker because my maker has a lot of issues with Bluetooth So far the joy has been good. I've used it three times now and the Bluetooth has been working snazzy, okay? So I'm going to click smart, I, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna click smart vinyl, smart vinyl removable. And then the cool thing is, let me make sure this closed, is you don't have to press any buttons. So I was like, that's pretty cool. Again, if you wanna know the actual review, I just did it, you can watch it before this. It's called, what did I call it? Respond, re, I don't know, re, it's, it's a good review, but it's my first thoughts, but the machine itself is pretty cool. I don't think it's the best machine. So I'm going to just put it in and it starts to roll and there's no buttons. So it's gonna go in there and it's gonna do its thing. And now I have to go on my computer and click go. I set it to the default pressure, didn't change it. So instead of changing variables, I am not gonna be using my vinyl. I'm not gonna be using my, I'll use my iron on in the next video, but I'm not using my vinyl. One, because we're still testing the settings if it can be working on here, but I'm gonna use some Cricut vinyl, regular old vinyl, not smart vinyl, on the next Mickey. Um, and then the new claim is that the smart vinyl peels like a sticker, which I thought all vinyl does that, but apparently they do. So it unloads itself, well, it finishes itself, and then you have to click unload on your computer. So you click unload, and it unloads itself, and then this is the smart vinyl. So I'm just gonna pull my Mickey off. So this is their thing. It un, it undoes like a sticker, which I've never seen vinyl not do that. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We're gonna put Mickey here, okay? You are smart vinyl. This is smart vinyl right here, okay? Smart vinyl. Let's try, okay, I'm gonna prove it. It's Cricut brand, it's yellow. I'm never gonna use this on very much stuff. But um, this is a Cricut Yellow, and it's not Smart Vinyl. You can tell, does it say Smart Vinyl on the back? Well, this is the new, yeah, it says Cricut Smart Vinyl on the back. So you can tell I'm using Smart Vinyl on this one that I cut, and regular Cricut on this one. Isn't all vinyl just a sticker? I thought it was too, but that's a new selling point, just so you didn't know. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. 
All I did was took a piece and cut it off of a roll, five and a half inches. Okay, this is the original roll that this was on. See, cricket, cricket, it goes together. I'm not lying, got nothing up my sleeves, nothing, okay? I'm just over the lies. Okay, so now we're going to, if you wanna see me do this on the Explore Air 2, the next video will be that. I'm gonna be doing how to do not a mat on the Explore Air 2. You ready for this? All right, so we're gonna roll it. Oh, and FYI, if you're using iron-on, flip it upside down. This isn't, but, okay. I did this last time. I cut two, sorry guys. I'm gonna pull out my Holy Grail, another product I highly recommend. I love this product. We'll never say anything bad, a, bad about it, uh, but you can get it on Amazon, in my Amazon store. So, uh, let me cut this down just a little bit more. So, it actually has to be, is, did I cut this five and a half inches or did I just grab the wrong one? So it literally has to be exactly five and a half inches. So it is annoying, but it saves you money because ain't nobody got time to be buying five and a half inches of vinyl. That's just plain ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna load this in, ready for its Mickey cut. Okay, so it's in there. See how it kind of curls? Let's unload this because it kind of did a funky thing. Okay, so, oh, there's an unload button. Okay, so let's try this way. Let's make sure it's cut exactly at five and a half. We did it last night perfectly. <laughs> so, let's see, let's cut this at, now this is less than five. Is it less than five? This is, I'm gonna cut it at, I'm gonna cut a fresh piece because I did it over and over last night. We did a bunch of them. Let me measure the smart vinyl. So smart vinyl measures in exactly at five, five and a half. And it's actually the vinyl itself is not five and a half because there's like a quarter inch of backing on it. So five and a half. You know what? Their new vinyl probably will work even better because it doesn't curl like this. So if it wasn't curling, it would probably work better. But um, this is an old roll that likes to curl up. But it's still gonna work. You have to, I was almost worried about how it loads like that because if you accidentally put anything in wonky, it'll just suck one side up. And so, you have to like put it in perfectly because it's already rolling. It starts to sense it once it's like right in the way of the blade and then it starts rolling. So you have to kind of like make sure it goes in perfect. So I'm gonna come from here and do it. Make sure it's perfect. What are we doing? Oh, I didn't click go. Make it and no mat, done, continue. I didn't move Mickey to the middle, so it's gonna be a little different. Uh, so it's Bluetoothing to the Joy. We're gonna click Smart Vinyl Removable. And, oh, so you do have to click Smart Vinyl, that's the thing, it's the only option when you're using the Joy. But just click it, and even though you're not using Smart Vinyl. So now, now it's starting to roll, and I'm gonna grab it at the same spot. So that is really important that you cut it exactly straight. So the trimmer tool will help if you're gonna use this hack because you want it to be straight. It starts to wrinkle if it's too big. So let's see if this will work. Otherwise, we did it last night on a different color of Cricut and it worked perfect. And we'll do iron-on in another video. Even though I didn't buy any smart iron-on because I didn't wanna waste any more money because I was pretty sure it was just gonna work. is I, I chose kind of a simpler design so that it could be done faster but I could have just done a circle but I didn't I didn't want to just do a circle okay so I cut him all right and this cut all the way through so you might want to do less pressure if you're gonna do this hack but it cut through on some of the parts well, this might be one of their older vinyls because I haven't I just ripped him in half that was a user error <laughs> This might be one of their older vinyls because I, um, 
I did this just fine on whatever color we used last night. What color did we use last night? Let's use another Cricut color. Or, well, we tried Oracle and we were trying out the different settings and it was cutting through. So you just have to find that right setting. And they also set it so that it's like five products you can use this with, with this machine. So it's harder to get that exact cutting pressure. Uh, do I have any other regular vinyl here? Just the yellow, just yellow. What color did we use last night? Do you remember? Hold up two seconds. why it wasn't working and I could have just grabbed from here. We'll try with my vinyl later. Here's why it worked last night, because I used a sheet. Sheets come flat and sheets are nice. So we used a Cricut sheet. I probably got this in a mystery box a long time ago, but we sell sheets on shopagetay.com. So when we find out the exact setting for Oracle, then you can also buy sheets. So that's probably why this worked a little better. Let's try it again. So, Let's cut this to five and a half. Okay, let's try it again. Go out of there. Go under the rollers. Under the... Okay. Loading material. So we're going to try it again with the green. So that is kind of annoying when it's rolling. It kind of does some funny, funny business. So if you have sheets of Oracle... Um, we're going to work on the settings for that, uh, and well, if you do have this machine, then you'll know you can buy Oracle and use it on there, which is far cheaper, and we all know that. Okay, go. Let's do this. Let's cut out a Mickey. All right, we got some moderators in here, right? So check those people out. Get them out of here. All right. So yes, this works much better when you're using a sheet. That's the problem. I grabbed a roll. I actually am almost out of every Cricut product I've ever owned because I had, there was one time they accidentally sent me like 12 mystery boxes. I was like, what am I supposed to do with all these? And I have like a ton of these random colors left over. Oh yeah, I can't, you can't pull it out. You gotta press unload. There's no buttons. That's a, that's a difference if you're used to more machines. Okay, so let's see if it peels like a sticker. Apparently the new, oh, let me show you guys. Don't mind my nails, they're falling off. Not normal, okay. So we got a Mickey. So I'm gonna put him over here. You do, you, you be the judge. This is smart vinyl. This is Cricut regular vinyl. If you guys would like me to do one specifically on Oracle, I can, I'm just gonna work on learning the settings exactly. We couldn't get the settings right, but we do know that iron-on is not actually smart iron-on, so that's the next video I'm going to do. Sorry, I covered Mickey up. So you do you, you think about what you wanna think about and figure it out. Do you wanna buy smart vinyl? Is it really worth buying them pre-cut or can you just cut it yourself? Um, again, buying sheets really helps. Um, but again, you could probably do it with the roll if maybe you got your roll to not roll up so much. So, or I believe Cricut's new vinyl doesn't roll so much, but I really love sheets. So sheets would be great for this if you decide to get this machine. All right, join us for the next couple videos. I'm gonna be showing you how to cut on the Explore without a mat. And then I'm also going to be showing you that Iron, smart iron on is not really smart iron on. It's gonna be pretty much the same video, but with iron on. So if you wanna hang out, do that. All right, love you guys. Bye.